Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second day of the Women's EHF Euro 2018. We were thinking of somehow linking the championship to the days we are at, and it's easy today because it is day two, so we can link the number two to the fact that there are two teams who have already played at this year's championship. As you might know, yesterday at 9 p.m. we launched the Women's EHF Euro 2018 with an amazing match. It was between the current Olympic champions Russia against the host nation and current world champions France. Let's see the highlights of this match. Briefly put in the second line, they switch back again to more conventional play. Another good save, Lino. This time reading it well, the French can't quite break on the wings though, covered well, brilliant pass and finally 6 minutes and 40 seconds, but France get the opening goal of Euro 2018, to see of Beatrice Sidwige, the Mets line player, superb pass into her by Nziminko, waited and Sedoikina Trying to find a way through. Good save again, and the break is on, and the empty goal! And France are paying a heavy price as they gamble. And uh, Vyakireva has now been pushed into the rear, the wing position. Ah, oh, right in the top corner. Couldn't have put it more there if you tried. Skoro Bogachenko. That push gets herself a two minute suspension. You watch that superb goal by Skoro Bogachenko at the other end to make it 801 goals for France. Vyakireva back in again and a superb shot right across. It was a beautiful pass into the wing. Mr. Kuznetsova looked like she was going to shoot, but a bounce and Pino just watched it go past and then an impeccable lob over Glosser. Samokina head down. We're well inside the last minute, yes! And surely that's it. Russia will take the points here and the crowd can't believe it. There was the goal straight over the head of Amandine Lino. Passive plays being called against the Russians. It's turned over, but there goes the buzzer. And a big, big win for the Russians. There's the reaction. French, it's like home team. Uh, we knew that they will fight till the end. They will play good because they have uh, a lot of uh, experience, uh, good players, and uh, it will be the tough game. So we are happy that we won and ready for the next. I think we they was better in the money time. They was uh, more lucky, and we missed some shoot in this money time. And this is enough for for lose against a super team like Russia then uh, we will work and we will, uh, we will see uh, how it will go, but I, I think we will show a lot of good things also. That was quite an exciting match, wasn't it? Now that we have two teams in the competition, we will have six one joining in tonight since we will have three very exciting matches. And I had the chance to talk to one of the players who will be entering the court. Don't mind the fact that I look like one of the hobbits in The Lord of the Rings next to her, it's fine. I think the hobbits are very nice characters in the movie. But anyway, this amazing player is Anna Gross and she's not only a great partner to talk to, but she also knows the host country very well since she is now playing in Brest and used to play in Metz, which is just around the corner. Who else could we ask to show us uh, another color of this country than a Slovenian player who knows France quite well? What are the three things that you love most in the host country? Um, first, uh, I would say the gastronomy. I really like the food. Uh, Absolutely amazing <laughs> yes. food. Uh, then I also like the mentality of, of people. I think they are they are positive and like uh, a little bit like us uh, going to drink coffee and uh, like you know speak and everything. It's like our Balkan uh, character. And third, uh, what I would say, um, I would say still it's uh, their way of playing handball. I think here in France they play really good handball and uh, I really like. That's why I stayed so many years here and uh, I really like it. So yeah. Is it important for you to have the Euro here where you actually play in the season? Yeah, I think it's really nice. Um, it's like my second home, so I feel really good here. Uh, it's also close to my ex-club Mets here, so I'm really happy. I think it will be many supporters that will come uh, to support and yeah, it's, it's, it's great. And you speak French pretty well. 
I heard in the interview. Congratulations, it's a difficult language. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit back to your, your great team. Um, what, is, what are the teams, um, what is the state of mind? Are you here with nothing to lose or are you here with expectations that you would like to reach? I would, I would say uh, pretty much nothing to lose. I think we still have a really young team. Uh, uh, we are, I think we are developing every year uh, more and more. Uh, last year we did some surprises at the, in the World Championship, so why not this year as well? So we will do our best and hope to, to make some surprises again. Um, Montenegro, the first opponent, it is a very decisive match. A lot of things will be decided then. What are the thoughts about that game? I think the, the game will be very physical, uh, they play really strong defense. Uh, I think their system is, is pretty much uh, similar to ours. Uh, it's true that uh, our team never actually played really good against the Balkan uh, countries, but uh, nevertheless uh, we will give our best, uh, we will try to defend strong like they do and uh, hope for the best. Yeah. I like the way you speak about your team, I can feel that you love the team. What do you like most in your team? I really like their spirit, I mean their state of mind also, I think they are all fighters, even if we know that we are on the paper, we are uh, not so strong like other teams, maybe we don't have uh, stars in the team, but uh, I think every game we give 100%, uh, we, we know that our time is yet, time is yet to come, so uh, yeah, this, I just like this about it. Thank you very much. The I don't, uh, we don't have stars in the team, I don't know what you mean under that, because you definitely are one. Thank you so much Thank you. and good luck. She is lovely, isn't she? Thank you, Anna, again for the interview and good luck to you and the whole team. And of course, good luck to all the teams joining in today because we have six of them since we will play three matches tonight. Let's see who they are. In Group A, we have Serbia against Poland and Denmark against Sweden. They will be playing in Nantes. And Group B, in Nancy, Montenegro against Slovenia. So good luck to all the teams who are beginning their journey today. And since we have matches, we will be live today with Chris O'Reilly at 5 p.m. in the EHF Euro Twitter channel. So make sure to join us if you wish to know everything there is to know about the upcoming matches. And before we go, a quick reminder, if you haven't downloaded the EHF Euro app yet, make sure to do it because you can watch live videos, you can predict games and win prizes and a lot more. So it's worth downloading. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.